There are two related types of rock, shale and slate. So how are these rocks formed and what can they actually be used for? Well, starting with shale, which is a highly abundant rock formation, the most common form of a sedimentary rock. Rivers and streams are important components in the formation of some types of sedimentary rock. Rivers often transport eroded rocks, stones, soil and other debris with them. The large items which are carried by rivers can quickly fall out of a current. The really small, fine particles tend only to fall out of suspension when the rivers slow down and broadens out. These tiny particles are often clay and form thin sheets or layers as they drop to the bottom of the river, often when the river turns into a mudflat or an estuary. Alongside the deposits of clay, there are also substantial amounts of quartz, normally in the form of fine particles of sand. At the same time as these eroded deposits are forming on the bottom of the river, the calm surface of the water above can allow substantial amounts of algae to cover the surface of the river. These two, over time, can die and fall to the bottom to be combined with the clay and sand deposits. Over time, more and more layers are added to the clay and sand and decomposing algae as get compressed into a rock formation, which is known as shale. Due to how it is formed, the structure of shale is a multitude of thin, flat sheets laid one on top of the other, which can be impermeable to most liquids and gases, depending upon the signs of grains that went into forming the rock. However, the rock is also extremely brittle. It can crack and fracture, easily if hit with enough force or snapped between someone's fingers. The potential impermeability of shale has two common effects. Firstly, the algae, as it decomposes, any gas or oil formed by the decomposition remains trapped within the rock. And due to the impermeable nature of the shale, these deposits don't collect together to form an easily extracted resource. Instead, they're widely dispersed within the rock. However, since the shale rock can easily be fractured, the process of fracking creates cracks in the rock through which the oil and gas can pass and accumulate in an area that makes them easier to extract. And secondly, changes in the land as the rock was being laid down could mean that for periods of time, instead of a slow moving river being above where the rock is forming, it could have been a forest marshy swamp like area that could lay down a layer of coal or oil. Any gas or liquid produced by this layer would then be trapped by another layer of shale sitting on top of it, meaning that significant oil and gas reserves can sometimes be found directly underneath a layer of shale. Shell itself though can undergo a significant change or metamorphosis, much like a clay pot being fired in an oven. The shell rock with its high clay contact is subject to a relatively small increase in temperature, say one above about 200 degrees centigrade, it will transform from shale into slate. The slate is denser, harder and generally more durable than the shale. However, it still retains that kind of layered structure and its impermeability to water. Slate can be fairly easily shaped into tiles, making it practical for use in roofing or even for floors and walls.